We've got to stand up to bullies. We've got to stand up to an, an administration which is too male, too pale, and too stale. That's so, so crazy. Look at the white dude behind him. He endorsing it. <laughs> Do you think that Donald Trump should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James? And on what grounds? I think, uh, uh, yeah. I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I, I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she's running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now, you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale, that constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So the federal money's flowing into her office, and if she is engaged in that kind of sexual and racial discrimination and, and that kind of language, I think she's wide open to exposure on the 64 Civil Rights Act. Donald J. Trump should sue Letitia James on the basis of civil rights. Have you suggested man. this to Trump? I will, so I'm writing about this. He's listening. I, I, I think he'll message will get to him sooner or later. <laughs> Good stuff. DeRoy, you're all right. all right. Thank you very much Thank indeed. Thank you, Stuart. I just think in every case, the way to judge if what someone said is wrong is if you flip the roles, would it be wrong? And if someone said, it's too black, there's too many women, they would say, <gasps> but I so that, that was probably that. that was probably the most insane part. But the fact that she's probably getting, she's getting $13 million. $300 million. 11. 300, he didn't say 13? He said 300 million. Yeah, she's the attorney general though. Like that kind of makes sense. Like the attorney general, you represent a lot of people. You over, you oversee a lot of a lot of uh, crimes and stuff. You oversee in a big jurisdiction. This yeah, is insane. I I, yeah, and it's New know. York. There's a lot of people there, so it just makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Makes sense to me. This is insane. If you do flip the roles in reverse, like no, yeah, if you, everybody if, being outraged right if, now. If you flipped on what she said into a, in black people, people would be. Nah. That's what you respect live by is. That, treat others the way you want to be treated. They don't know. If they said this to me. Would I be upset? I've never seen that film before. That actually insane. never seen it. Too. You don't remember the? I never uh, seen the white dude. Much. The white dude in the back. He was hitting the. I never you know, seen remember that. Too. We did. But the, the video. stat that this guy pulled up. I mean, yeah, we, maybe we can uh, break that down a little bit. But. Uh, Really uh, 1964 for, uh, law? Not that, not that. I'm talking about the 311 million dollars that uh, Letitia James getting to the office. But She's the attorney general. I don't know, but I mean, you know, what did he say? It's maybe for he put it in for like, various subsidies. You know, maybe he's pushing propaganda, or maybe he's definitely not pushing truth. propaganda. That's so definitely that's 100. Yeah, I mean, so She's the attorney so general. People see as a people might see a. Problem it's not like with profit. That, I know, I know. We don't know. No, but it's money used people, for. She's the attorney general, Solomon. Yeah, you know she the mayor. I do, but so then. Why are you so freaked out by that? It's a problem. He did, he did. So I don't know why he brought I think it up. He was, I think he was They're probably misusing the, fact, the money. I think he was just pointing out the know. fact that she's getting a lot of money. Maybe. And she's like power hungry. Maybe. They're trying to try his. Wait, re rewind what he said. They're trying to say over the case. I got paid for the case. Dropped it in. Dropped it in her invoice. Look at Do you dude. think that Donald Trump should sue New York Attorney General Letitia James, and on what grounds? I think uh, I, I think she should. I saw an interesting little uh, comment of hers I I not seen before the other day. Uh, she said when she's running for Attorney General that uh, she wants to fight an administration that's too male, too pale, and too stale. Now you can talk about stale ideas, that's fine, but too male and too pale. That constitutes basically uh, sex and race discrimination. So I think what uh, President Trump ought to do is sue her on the basis of the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Uh, her office gets federal money, in fact, $311 million approximately for various subsidies for uh, uh, law enforcement activity. So the federal money's flowing into her office, and if she is engaged in that kind of sexual and racial discrimination, that is a problem. Oh, okay. that kind federal of language, money, she's a state level of power. No, 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 that wasn't she, the problem. No, she's a state. Power. She's Thank a state. You. She's a state yeah. level official in getting federal. Money, that's a problem. Kyle. Attorney General, uh, no, no, she's a district she attorney. Has a lot of the problem power. is that she gets all that money. And Attorney General, like that. that's pretty yeah. high up. You yeah. have to be somebody a, shouldn't be able to discriminate. So you have to be elected. So that's why I'm thinking I, I got too, like, too far ahead of it. Uh, I thought she was doing some type of like but, fraud. Yeah, but, but he said the feds, like, that's. That's the that's whole a federal United. position. You have, yeah, to be, federal you, have to, you have to you have to be illegal. You have to be elected to be. I thought a, that was a, a state ge- position. What? Thought, there, there's there are different I ones. There's, in different there's, there's different attorney different generals ones. in st- per state, but you have to be elected. I'm pretty sure. But federal is the whole United States. But they do have an attorney general in the United States. So too. the the DA is the district attorney, right? No, this is the, she's the AG. 
Attorney General. Yeah, Attorney General. So wouldn't that be out of I don't think the taxes no, from but the he city would go to the police department. department. He said it because he's like, that position holds a lot of power. So someone yeah, that's why he has that, that much power. And they're but how is she getting federal money, though? I, maybe, wouldn't that be like a state I thing? No, because look, cause she's in charge of okay, a lot I'm of gonna things. Okay, I'm going to explain it to you. I they proposed legislation. They enforce federal and state environmental laws. Okay. I Makes thought, sense. I thought she was a state official. No, bro. She's above that. You have to be elected as the Attorney General. The problem is, if you have that to power. be voted in. Bart the problem Bart. is if you have that much power, you can't be discriminatory. Yeah, oh, one hundred percent. She obviously has ulterior motives in what she's doing. Surprised to hear this from Kevin O'Leary, a guy who's such an asshole. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that even the other people on Shark Tank thinks he's an asshole. Wow. He just keeps it real. Now, He's very he's chill. I don't think anyone thinks that. He plays his character. Right? I like I'm Kevin O'Leary. I'm surprised that he's so chill about overvaluing something that he thinks is victimless. Because when someone tries to do that to him... Which one of you do I absolutely you tear to pieces now on a $28 million valuation? You think this is worth $10 million? Absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to rip your pieces. Are you absolutely. out of your mind? Your valuation's insane. Your valuation's crazy. I think that's What's a crazy wrong? valuation. I think your valuation is... Stinky He's talking business, though. Oh, wow, he's been mean you. on investing his money? Oh, oh no, you didn't. <laughs> that was so cringe. Canadians are so vulgar. Hey, well, he's a little funny, though. You could tell what he do on How his days off. How is he not off. this mad about overvaluations in the he real world? It. Because they are not victimless crimes. Yes, they First, are. First, the banks got paid back at lower interest rates. Although, to be honest, who gives a shit? But second, <laughs> money isn't infinite. A loan that goes to the liar doesn't go to someone who's giving a more honest evaluation. So the system becomes incentivized for corruption. See, that and this is part of a different Trump right fraud there. case. But avoiding taxes hurts all of us. Donald Trump shenanigans cost the city of New York. And to be honest... And let's be frank here, the, the migrants that is money that the city of New York could have used to build more Walgreens. Now, oh, he's some blocks only have two of them. He's trolling. Leave it to Kevin O'Leary to be unaware enough to say the quiet part out loud. I hear about the, the so-called victimless crimes, but the laws on the books falsification of business records in second degree, issuing false financial statements, insurance fraud, conspiracy, and all these different aspects of it. Those are actual crimes. I take it your point is that these should not have been prosecuted? Everything you just listed off is done by every real estate developer everywhere on earth in every city. This has never, ever been prosecuted. You tell me the truth. There is a theory in law that if enough people commit a crime, it automatically becomes legal. You're familiar with the purge, are you not? not? understand that. The f***ing entitled arrogance. I don't know if you know this, but most people just can't commit fraud and expect to face no repercussions, even if everyone's doing it. How Try getting that? a car a loan by not. saying you have 10 times as much money go. as you really do, or claim 20 dependents when you have no children, it's not like or say you things. make slightly less money to, to qualify for food assistance. I will guarantee it's you not like that. there are not just financial consequences for those lies, but criminal ones. But don't tell that to the investment community, because in their minds, in pursuit of profit, there is no rule that cannot be bent, there is no principle that cannot be undercut as long yeah, as you and your friends making money so what trump did to my understanding is so he built the building he said it's worth this much mm -hmm. someone else came and said no nah, it's worth this much mm -hmm. so they're basically just negotiating the banks testified on his behalf that he paid back the loan they're, that's trying, awesome they're saying it's not a victimless crime because he over or like some overvalued and paid it back at a lower interest rate or some shit Crazy. i have a question so is every talk show host and media outlet on on television on cable television are they all liberal most of them. Are they all liberal? I've never seen one Science that says anything day. from the other side. They censor the right. They do. They, they 
it's literally it's right? literally all propaganda on TV. If you watch TV, how are you not a fucking liberal? Like they That's push how they this get their shit. People. It's programming. That's they why they call it your red. So stupid. They call it a programming because they program. It's so you, stupid bro. that they oh have gosh. to program. Even the shows in the movies, bro. God gives you common sense, but if you're overly programmed, yeah. If you see the same thing over and over again, it's more likely that you're gonna believe it. And they try to paint him so bad. And then they, how they pulled up the Kevin O'Leary those clips. They were like, oh look how he treats people who overvalue think they're negotiating <laughs> it is business yeah they're negotiating his for money. his money I would literally to somebody I would, like, if you're asking me for my money I'm gonna tell you that, I'm not giving you my money they're on a TV show so it makes it good. they're gonna you know makes it good. it's just like so but hey it's ironic here that John Stewart have made committed fraud he did now look this city overvalued his house it was like by 825% or something like that it was a 1.8 million dollar house he sold it for 17.5 mil <laughs> Tim Pool he said my brother <laughs> my brother in Christ <laughs> <laughs> you sold a property in New York valued at 1.8 million to someone for 17.5 million. You a fucking thief. And they lost 4 million because of it. He was paying taxes on the valuation of it being 748,000. So mm. not only did he, he scam somebody Pay by less overvaluing taxes. it by 800%, he paid less taxes on it. So he was paying less taxes when it's worth more mm -hmm. and then he sold it for more when it was worth less. He basically the same thing he's So that's two of that's Trump two crimes there. he committed there. But like if you committed a little bit John of the Stewart. same crime, I would shut the fuck up. But he has to but push that, that he narrative. Has to push the narrative he has and then to he has to come narrative. on Twitter. Oh my god. He got you know the puppet masters. He said I've been caught doing something not remotely similar to Trump. What? That's bad. He said I need to start. Then he started going up. in. <laughs> grab pussies. Discriminating houses. He changed the subject. Liar number. Cheat that, that, that golf. He's a troller, bro. Where is this tweet? He at, said bro? cheat at golf. <laughs> he's a troll. Hold on. Now I ain't gonna lie though. He's pretty funny, but he's a, he, he's he's yeah, on Comedy Central. Know. You can't take him. Sim you can't take him serious. He's on Comedy Central. Stephen bro. Colbert was on here too. He's on Comedy Central, bro. Oh. He's a tr he's a troll. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is true. That is true. That's but like, hey, some people biting that fish though. Stole classified documents. Yeah, he was bankrupt casinos. And, and guess what? He hasn't been. Can Play guilty to anything yet. I'm it's the evil so world we live in. Narrative that's being pushed is over. I'm over. Bro, I it's see it more and more now on every show, on every movie, on ESPN, Madden. Like, it's, it's crazy. You said Madden. They putting in racism on everything. <laughs> Video games. In racism on the helmets on Madden. Like, that's going to help in racism. Yeah. Like, Can we just start talking about the it? The racism is not there. Yeah. I see if we were segregated. You know, I can see if, if this was, you know, if we were fighting to vote. If we were seeing strange fruit like our parents and our grandparents did. I, I, I don't think our parents seen much. Oh, not parents. Okay. My grandparents. This. Strange fruits. What so, you know. What is this? You know, hey, man. Hey, he probably, he probably part of Disney. Don't, they trying to say he with Disney. That's don't nice. find out he with Jeffrey. 829%. That's actually insane. Told man. you. He, he, but he was pushing the narrative, ass. man. You know he got up there and said what they told him to say. Ultimate yeah, grifting. Man. At its finest. <laughs> Well, guys, let us know what y'all think about this John Stewart situation. We out here.